Yowza, yowza, yowza. I'm going to offer you some personal observations today. If you're moving, do not let the person closest to you, the person you love, yap and yap and yap until they convince you that no, we don't need movers. We can do this truckloads at a, at a time and we'll rent this and get movers. Because halfway through the move, all those people who said we don't need movers are going, damn, we should have hired movers. Well, no kidding. That's what I was trying to tell you. You've moved wait, maybe five times. I've moved probably 12. Those friends, they're not going to help you. They've been through it many, many times. I will probably die in the new place that we are in because I am not moving again ever. Second point, labeling. Label things with a great deal of specificity. Putting a box that says kitchen, okay, are they dishes? Are they cups? Are they silverware? Are they Aunt Matilda's fine china? What is it? Because when you're looking for it, once you get to where you are, you don't want to open up eight boxes just to find that what you need is in the ninth box. Just a, a, a helpful hint there. Do those two things, get movers, and label things correctly will help you out a great deal in any move. It's Father's Day. If you miss your father as I do, uh, you know, think fondly of them and, and uh, say, Dad, I wish you were here. If your father is still alive and not just a sperm donor, but an actual father, honor them for being there and helping you and giving you helpful advice along the way. If your father is nothing more than a sperm donor, who cares? You, you probably have some other elder male that you can thank for all of your advice and your help. I remember my father told me many things that I, I, I remember yet today. First is don't pee on an electric fence. You learned that at a young age. The second was that uh, it is always bad when small people have big power. And that you learn in your workplace. But if you know it going in, it makes it a little easier. And uh, those who have the gold make the rules. That's also... Never forget that. Those that have the goal to make the rules. And the thing that he said that I use even today that I will pass down to my children, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Yes. We got a Father's Day weekend to stare at us eyeball to eyeball. So let's get to enjoying it and say, hey, Dad, thanks a lot. Maybe cook him a burger for once. Or a rib or whatever it is he likes to eat, except for cow tongue. Sorry, Dad, you're going to have to cook your own cow tongue. Pig out, pork out, freak out, watch out. That's the new one. we got to use that one, too, because the world's getting crazier. But the weekend is here, and it's time we got at least hip deep in it and started wading to the shore because it is here. It is now, and you've got to, 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 got